Hello and welcome to a Minecraft wrestling tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to build a working microwave. So this microwave does work. You can throw in food and it'll cook it. There will also be a beep uh, when your food is done. So I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but just wait. And there we go. So the chicken went in raw and it got out cooked. So you can do this with all raw food or most raw food since it just cooks it in a furnace. So if we wait, there we go. So you can also, I believe you can also just throw in a bunch of raw food and you should get most of them all cooked out one at, one at a time. So if we just wait, there's the steak. So here's the microwave. I'm not the best microwave builder. So you'll just have to work with this for now. But if you can build a better microwave, then you can build one. So I'll go ahead and show the redstone real quick. Here it is. This is all the redstone. Here's the, the droppers that dispense out or drop out the food items on the floor above here. And it'll shoot. Yep. There we go. And it cooks out all the food. So there should be another one coming in, which is the salmon. And there we go. So this is all the redstone. Now the only real necessary parts here are uh, right here in this furnace to over here. So this is very small, very easy to build. It's not a lot. This is the optional part. If you want, you can add yourself a little ring. You don't have to, but if you do want to, then you can feel free to add to this. It's just a simple little beep noise I made with note blocks. It can be done easily. You can make whatever jingle you want. Yeah, this part is just if you want to add fuel. Let's say if you want to add uh, some more coal blocks. Oops, wrong item. Let's say if you want to add more coal, you can just drop in the fuel and it'll funnel down into the furnace right here or it'll be in the hoppers. So anyways, we'll get into how to build this right now. All right, so, so now we're going to get into how you build this microwave. So I've just set out a sim the same foundation as well so I have the building proportions right here uh, actually this needs to be one more up so if we're assuming this is uh, Y level 0 let's just assume or whatever Y level you're on let's assume that's the base so for this one you're gonna have to go down it's gonna be yeah, you're gonna have to go down 4 and it's gonna be a 4 by 4 so you're gonna need a 16 uh, block area or 4 by 4 and you need to go four blocks down so assuming this is the ground level you're on just go down one two three or three blocks i meant sorry not four but yeah assuming this is the the level you're on go three down and there we go and these gold and diamond blocks are uh, we'll get into those later and why those are there but for now we're just gonna go with this all right so we're gonna get into the building right now i actually have the rest the resources need, needed right here or the list so if you want to build a survival, which you can, you can need three hoppers, three droppers, two repeaters, three dust, three observers, furnace, or a smoker if you want to cook it faster. A minecart with hawker, ha hawker, hopper, you're also going to need a railing, a comparator, and blocks to build on for your redstone. So all that will be in that chest, or that's all you're going to need. So first off, we're gonna get the. Uh, she's just gonna build the actual mechanism. If you, I oh, will build the microwave part for last. So that will be built last. So first thing we're, we're then what we're gonna need to do is go ahead and grab ourselves. We're gonna be building the actual uh, getting mechanism, the part that grabs the food and throws it into the. Uh, furnace so let's get into that right now so from here we're gonna start in this corner you're gonna want to have a block here and you're gonna want to have a, f a hopper here so when you're going like this you're gonna have that block here hopper and this will be like the floor level for here so and then here you're gonna place a railing you're gonna place a micro with the hopper you can then break this hopper and there we go so now from here we can go ahead we're just going to cover this floor up at this point we don't need this flooring or to show this anymore so 
go ahead and we can go ahead and start covering this up. So we're gonna need to use pistons for this. So and there we go. I just won't cover it off, but yep, there we go. So now the mine cart with the hopper should be around here. Yeah, so it should be in this corner right here. So when you throw something in, the mine cart with the hopper and the block will pick it up and it'll follow through the hopper on the other side. Oops. So get right there on the other side. Now this rock this rock block we can break and now replace with the furnace. So the furnace can go here. Doesn't matter how it's gonna go, which way it faces, just place the hopper right. The hopper. Place the furnace here. I'm terrible at speaking. So when you throw in your food, it'll funnel into the furnace. Now okay, now that we're now that that's done, you're gonna wanna go down here and we'll, I'm gonna quickly explain what these blocks for the gold is to represent where the furnace or where the food goes into so the food with the, with the gold the food will go into here and the diamond represents what it will pop out of so then it will pop out here so just a heads up wherever you're going to be placing this uh so it can be proportional to your microwave so if your microwave is like right here that way you can throw it here and it'll pop out here this is just so it, when the food gets spent it won't immediately go back in or it won't go back into the cycle and get your food stuck because that will happen if it's here or here so best ways to keep that in like this so anyways come down here you can place a block here and you want to place a hopper this will allow your items to funnel out from here on this diamond block you're going to want to go place or you're going to want to place a dropper facing up and same thing so let's just quickly break this so you're going to want to place two more facing up here so one two and you can cover this back up now you can come back down here and now you place a hopper right into the dropper right here. So wherever, it's right here. So make sure you're facing the dropper, place, and there we go. There's the funneling system. So now the food should fall down here, get cooked, funnel into this first uh, dropper. So now you come here with a comparator, place it out here, place a block. So this way it will detect when the bolt and uh, when your food is in the hopper and then it'll send a pulse here so now we place a redstone repeater you might as well yeah you make sure you set on two ticks place two blocks like this so they cut up and then place two more like this so now from here you can go ahead and place two redstone you can place a repeater on three ticks and place your last redstone so now we can place in our observers so first observer will go here like this so make sure the face is facing on this repeater so when this repeater gets activated it will uh, this will get activated sending a pulse now we're gonna do that again here so just go ahead and add it like right here you want to kind of want to go off this redstone piece there we go and make sure the face is detecting this piece so when it gets activated by the redstone it'll send the items through and that's basically it that's the whole funneling system so now when we get food into this furnace, it should cook. So let me quickly grab some, let me grab some coal real quick. So coal blocks. I believe you can also just throw in uh, fuel uh, through here as well. So that's another way you can just fuel it as well. Mm -hmm. So you can put in fuel here. It doesn't have to be coal blocks. It can be any kind of fuel you have. And let's go ahead and grab some raw food. So some raw chicken. So now if we throw it right around this block, make sure you throw it on the right block. It should disappear. And then it should funnel through here and start cooking. And then once it gets cooked, it'll funnel through the hoppers, into the droppers, and then we'll get the sweats out. There we go. And that's it. That's how you can make the fully cooking microwave. Now... Uh, now I'll get into uh, the uh, the jingle add-on and the actual building of the microwave. All right, now we can get into the add-on of the build, which is the little jingle, the ding ding you hear after your food's done. So we're gonna come down here to this uh, same hopper again with this compared coming out and you're gonna wanna place another one. Just, you know, stick out from the side. It's like this, it can go this way. You place a block. This will send the pulse into here. Then you want to go ahead and add a, a repeater. 
and then you're gonna want to add your note block so your sound can be whatever you want at this point you can have a customized sound however you want it to be so I just did this oops so you're gonna have a note block here and the repeater so you can have this on a delay if you want doesn't matter how much delay doesn't really matter I'll just keep it like that I'm not really good with the note blocks and music so you can add another one so now you can make a jingle however you want so I'll just go ahead and add one So it can be whatever you want, so the way this works is whenever an item gets into this furnace, I mean this hopper, it will make the jingle and then the item should pop out like that, so I'll do it again. So when your item's in this furnace, like why do you keep falling furnace? When item is in the hopper, this will get activated as long, along with this, it will activate the jingle and it will activate the funneling upwards. So. It glitched all right well this happens sometimes but again so let's just see yep so it'll work like that basically and that's the added jingle so you can also extend this however long you want it it could be a whole music if you want now I'm gonna quickly get into how I build my microwave if you just want to know how to build a microwave I guess so coming from here this is where your furnace is so I just place a light source or whatever. It doesn't it doesn't have to be a sea lantern. It can be any light source of your choice. Go ahead and you can place glass. So this will be the glass part of the microwave. It can also be facing this way or on this side. It doesn't matter. This is just how I built it. Then I'm going to quickly grab a kind of stone block or just the uh, um, metallic looking block of your choice. Doesn't matter. And then from there you can place this on two trap doors or uh two half slabs or just two slabs of whichever but well, this is how i built the microwave and actually uh we're not done yet because we still have to add the plate if you want so if you want like the plate that's in there like on that one uh i will get into that right now as well all right so now we're gonna get into how what or what you need or how you can build the plate inside so so about the plate so we're gonna have to kind of break into the side of here real quick like this so you will need to be you will need a, a minecart for this one just a minecart nothing really let's get these out of the way actually real quick so i can grab my redstone block so this is how we're gonna do it so this block right here go ahead and place a railing a minecart oh minecart okay it looks like these are interrupting each other so i'm gonna have to place a 